Hi, this is Pete. Thanks for taking a look. I'm really excited to show you what I got going on here today. As you know, here in SoCal, our home prices are some of the highest in the nation, making space a premium. Perhaps you're like me and want a little room to expand, but you're not sure about remodeling your home or purchasing a newer, more expensive home. If that's the case, I may have just a solution for you. It's a camper trailer that's been specifically remodeled to be a bonus room. While you could use it for camping, that's not really its intended use. It's better thought of as a spare bedroom. Perhaps you need a, a spare bedroom for the in-laws, or your children have been sharing a room and now they want to split. Or maybe you just need a place where you can get back and relax. If that's the case, this is the solution you've been looking for. This model is unique in that it is specifically designed to fit inside a standard garage. It's just under 16 feet long, which is important as it qualifies as a permanent trailer, which is much cheaper to register in California and only needs to be renewed once every five years. It's about seven feet tall and seven and a half feet wide. Let's take a look inside. On your right as you enter, you will find a desk and two bench seats. The cushions are made from a new six inch memory foam mattress and have been wrapped in a classic quilted faux leather fabric. The desk leg has been reinforced to protect the leg from kicks and knocks and keep it securely in place. The desk area also converts to a second bed. Just fold up the table leg, drop it down, and then put the cushions in place. All the curtains have been redone, custom, with this uh, cool fabric. I also included a backing to keep it a little bit more private. They scrunch up, and I also have uh, built-in little ties so you can hold them back easily. I've installed a smoke and carbon monoxide detector, and I'm including a fire extinguisher and a small table fan. It is worth noting that there is no running water or bathroom in this unit. Uh, but you could easily put in a coffee maker or a hot plate if you wanted that. There is a small TV on a swing mount. It can pivot so that you can see the TV from anywhere in the bedroom. It has a built-in DVD player on one side of the unit. The other side has all your major connections, including HDMI, so you can plug in a Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire Stick so you can stream all of your favorite shows. It also has a nice personal sized fridge. It holds plenty of drinks and snacks and even has a small ice tray. The door handle can also be configured to open up on either the left or right side. I've set up the lights to be a part of your smart home. Uh, they're LEDs, they're color changing, and you can control them with Alexa, Google Home, an app, or of course manual control. Alexa, lights off. Alexa, lights on. Alexa, lights blue. Alexa, lights white. Alexa, lights 100%. You can use an app to control the lights with your smart device. You can control them all at once or individually. There are a variety of color changing scene modes as well. It's a custom bed made from a 10 inch memory foam mattress wrapped in a hypoallergenic and waterproof cover. Uh, it's between a twin and a full in width and the length of a California cane. Underneath the bed, I built some custom storage so you have two large storage bins as well as a trash can. There are two slim closets, plenty of hanger space, a couple of drawers, and room for a laundry basket. There are also plenty of places to power up. By the bed, there is a power strip with six plugs and two USB ports. There is a spare plug above the TV, as well as another outlet above the table. Down below the table is what I call the tech deck. It's hidden away below the desk so you can reduce clutter and charge your devices. And over by the desk, there's an additional strip with even more plugs and USB ports. I also overhauled windows. Some cases the glass had to be replaced and then I replaced all of the screens in there. And finally I put a film on there 
the film blocks 98% of UV rays uh, and provide less light in, but also provides some privacy. It's also equipped with some motion sensor lights, one in the closet as well as one in the entryway to make it easier to get in and out at night. Also included are four wheel chocks and four stabilizing jacks to keep your new room level and in place. So there you have it, it's all set and ready to go. It tows easily and once in place, all you have to do is plug it in and you are done. For more information, you can check me out at socal-suites.com. Thanks.